And here we are, another segment of the Closed Fist. I have Will. Uh huh. Joey Fingers. Say it. Do this it. Guy. Do it. This Do it. guy. <sighs> Mayor. Come on. Ready. <laughs> Mayor. Oh, Mayor. Okay. The Nickel City Nightmare. <laughs> Little Flemmy. Little Flemmy. Always you gotta gotta have that phlegm in the back of the throat. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to get, Can we get a little we, uh, we have Big Jaws over here uh, jo- joining us. And of course I'm Ross Sullen. Oh, so, how does he do that? Man, how do I do I have no idea. <laughs> Are you part Jewish? Huh? I sound, like a wa- I sound like a walker from fucking The Walking Dead. You kind of look like one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> At least it's getting away from the homeless thing. Holy fuck. Uh, well, now you're a homeless zombie? What? There you go. Aren't, they're, they're, aren't, my Halloween aren't all costumes. zombies homeless? Be perfect. Be awesome. To a point. To a point. To a point. It might be in your house when you go back home. Fuck you never know. That's fair. Um... Chris Jericho uh, made big news at All In with his appearance. Now, As Octagon Bob. It's, it's, <laughs> it's interesting Jim? because we all thought, and I think we, are, we were all under, under the assumption that he wouldn't appear for um, any pay-per-views or any shows on the U.S. soil. But Mr. Will over here had a kind of an interesting little wrinkle. I don't know if it was a wrinkle per se, but I would say, you know, he has, he, I know he has his uh, his Chris Jericho cruise, the rock and roll cruise, yep. and he was trying to get people from NXT, NXT yeah. and they they turned him down. They said no. So he went outside and got, he has most of the uh, co-conspirators who were involved in All In on this cruise now. He has Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, just to name a few. I, there's many more. But... So we're curious to see now because of the fact that he got snubbed by WWE, which was his home for how many years now, yeah. yeah, whether or not this has be given, put a rift between him and Vince. That's the, you know what I mean? That's kind of where, where I s- stood with it. I but. heard a interview with him a while back. This was before All In and all this, where he said basically he has an understanding with Vince that he can go anywhere for a big enough paycheck which is again six figures more more than likely out of the states oh this was anywhere okay so i mean it's a possible that but now with this being a slap in the face with all in and now the crews and stuff i mean it could you never know what's going on but yeah like i said when he wanted he wanted to use wwe talent on his cruise you know what i mean like that's where you know and then when vince says uh, no, you know, even to supposedly his guy or his, you know what I mean, his m- longest tenured employee, let's sure. say, other than Fit Finley, but, um, you know. And I like to fight. Yeah. Fit Finley made the show. Yeah, anyway. he did. <laughs> Might get me shillelagh. Is but, um, right there? Oh, no, it's just rough. Don't look at my feet. What are it's you doing? Rough. I'm sorry, you <laughs> kind of hobby. But, you, but you, and I, you and I were going back and forth on this yes. a, a little Schmeagle. bit. What was you? I mean, what is your take? I, I, I feel like Vince may, if if there is a rift, and you know, with the saying no to NXT to the Rock and Wrestling Cruise or whatever it's called, like Rock and Wrestling, you know, if there's oh, if there bars. is that rift, I, I think Vince may have finally found the guy that he messed up when he basically told him to go pound salt. Like I, I, I think he may have finally found because Jericho has gone and found success literally everywhere he's gone. Yeah, but here's the thing. If Vince wants him back, he opens up the checkbook and he'll come running. Does and he? I'm not saying that he's that type of guy, but he's a rock star. He's a wrestler. He's got his own. I mean, he did that horrible NBC game show. Right. He did Dancing with the Stars. You pay him, he'll come play. I mean. It might be that. It, you, know? you know, to, to some extent, though, is, you know, is this a, does it become a pride thing? The I don't need you. I was helping you by being here. That's kind of what I was because, thinking. Because every single time they've needed a guy, every single time that they've needed somebody to, you know, when CM Punk was doing the, the right. straight edge thing and you needed somebody to come in and be the bad guy or you needed somebody to throw Shawn Michaels' head through, a, you know, a, a TV screen. Or how about KO get over? I mean, it was like, what, I mean, every time they need a guy, he just happens to be the guy. So what you're saying is Vince made the list? I, I believe Vince... Ooh. Made the top of the list. You just made the list. Yeah, I think I think I think Jericho's looking at him like saying, "Well, you want to be a stupid idiot, 
I'm gonna go. Ah, I see what you did there. Uh, uh-huh. and, and 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 I think he I think he has a star power like we were talking about last segment. You know about tying all these other promotions in. I think he has the the, the smarts and the star power to help make that happen. Talk about. I'm sorry. Talk about star power. His move go, going to All In, appearing there, taking a private jet. 300 miles away to Kansas City and performing a rock concert that night, that's star power. He is right a rock star. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, it's so what it, you're saying is we may never see him in the WWE ever, no, ever no, again. Never, oh, well, I was saying never say never in the wrestling business. Never say but. never, but it, it was really it interesting. It was more of like a never, ever again thing. Earlier but. this year, <laughs> it's, it's really interesting earlier this year when, um, when, he, when Don Callis helped set up uh, the Kenny Omega Jericho good match. friend of Jericho um, that we were all like well this is great for the wrestling bi- that he's doing this for the wrestling business he uh, you know he has a blessing of Vince this that and the other thing now over the last so many months it's kind of we're kind of kind of seeing like a turn you know kind of yeah, is, is it like gathering gathering momentum? you know, you know Gathering. Like snowball down a hill? I mean, because let's wouldn't face it, it. Wouldn't this be going forward, though? Forward, backward. Well, it's all about Russ. It, 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 it all depends. <laughs> but over the over this past year, it, do we dare say that that Chris Jericho and, to another extent, Don Callis, have influenced the wrestling business to the point of now everybody else seems to be benefiting except the WWE? I think so. I, I wouldn't say I know what Don Callis's role technically is. I know he's good friends with Jericho, and they've been in, almost came into the business together, basically out of Canada and mm-hmm. everything. You know, trained together mm-hmm. in some form or fashion. So I know I don't know exactly. Isn't D- Don Callis part of Creative for Impact now? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what I understand what the, what you're saying, but I'm not exactly sure what his role is per se. I. But well, I, I mean, his role, but he did help set up the Omega Jericho match. If that, 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 you know what? You always yell at me for you said you listened to it, and I don't remember. So now, but now I remember when I, when I listened to the podcast. And I go, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don Callis did say that. Oh yeah. But it's a, the, but it, it's almost like if that match doesn't happen, the Kenny Omega, the Jericho. Kenny Omega and J- J- Jericho match, where would it all be right now? I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, all in would would, would still be happening. For sure, but I don't think the buzz uh, with New Japan would quite be there. I agree, have to agree 100. Yeah, I agree with that. You guys, because you guys, you saw, I know you saw, yeah, you saw it. Omega Jericho yeah. last January. Yeah, it's a phenomenal and, fight. Yeah, and they're right. doing they're doing number two on the cruise on that rock right. and wrestling cruise. That's where when, he, when somebody getting thrown off the boat, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, <laughs> could you imagine that? What kind of bump is that? Oh my god, that is the bump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mick Foley, you might get beat out on this one. Oh, my goodness. 